Broadcasting from the Jaguar studio in the heart of Blue Springs South High School. This is award-winning JAG TV. Welcome to this lovely episode of JAG TV. I'm Jada Page. And I'm Derek Mammon. There's been a lot of sickness spreading throughout South, leaving the attendance lower than usual. Here's Blake to give us information on how you can avoid this epidemic. You may have recently realized the absences of students and teachers around South, and that's because a lot of them have been getting the flu. I caught up with a local nurse who shared some tips with me on how you can prevent yourself from getting this virus. The thing that you should always do is make sure that you wash your hands a lot. Uh, you should always wash after you go to the bathroom, before you eat. If you're getting enough vitamin C in your diet, um, that'll help your immune system boost itself to be strong enough for you to fight off any germs that you might encounter. The influenza virus has not just affected us locally, but around the United States. According to CBS News, thousands of U.S. citizens have been sickened, and the death rate has hit the epidemic threshold. You can also sanitize any surfaces in your house um, with like Clorox cleanup wipes, um, or if you're more natural, just make sure that you clean with whatever natural solution you're going to clean with door handles, light switches, places where people touch often and then they might put their hands in their mouth. Everyone be careful and make sure you're staying healthy so you do not get the flu. You can get flu shots here at Urgent Care or your local CVS. I'm Blake Isaacson with JAG TV, back to you. So make sure to wash your hands throughout the day to avoid the flu. Just this past week, students involved in a foreign language presented different forms of art and food for this one-of-a-kind event. Every semester, South holds the language fair featuring the French, German, and Spanish classes. The language fair gives you an opportunity to experience and learn about these different cultures. Well, my favorite thing about Germany would have to be the food. Quite. Wiener schnitzel, sauerkraut. My, uh, my favorite's the Schwarzwälder Kirschtorte, which, which is, is the Black Forest cherry cake. Yep. It's a very excellent dessert, and I think that we actually have a little bit right here. At least we had a little bit right here before it was all eaten. By me. Um, yes, and me too. The language fair featured food, presentations, and live performances, all by the language students. I like the language fair because it's an opportunity to bring everybody together with all different cultures and you can see the different languages you can take here and the food and just the activities that we do all throughout the year and it's really fun. The language fair was a great success. If you missed it this year, make sure to visit next year because it's something you won't want to miss. I'm Austin Ginther with JAG TV. Back to you. Shout out to all the students who helped make this language fair run smoothly. Now here's some ways to show your school spirit. Hope to see everybody participate. Up next, we find out what's cooking in Carly's Corner for Valentine's Day. That and more after the break. Here at Big Frog, you can get custom-made t-shirts from a great staff who are willing to help. With no minimums, no setup, or art fees, and a 24-hour turnaround, so you are given the best of prices. With the shirts being made there right in front of you, you are given fast and easy service. So make your way down to Big Frog and Independence for your custom shirts today.
love about Culver's is every time I come in here, they always greet me with a smile, and I'm always happy to be here. The reason I like to work at Culver's is because it's fun, energetic, and I love the people I work with. What I love about Culver's uh, is the energy when you walk in. The employees are always smiling. Um, the custard is delicious. It's always the perfect temperature. Uh, and I like to add a little peanut butter just to add some flavor. Welcome back, Jags. We have some pretty amazing stuff going on at South to help out our community. Love bags will be collected until tomorrow, February 15th from your fifth hour. Remember, the class who brings in the most bags will automatically get a cookie cake party, and the winners will be announced at the assembly on Thursday the 16th. This week is also Spirit Week, so remember to dress your best and show off your school spirit. Now that the spring musical My Fair Lady is finished, auditions for One Axe will be held tomorrow, February 15th, right after school. Callbacks will be held on Thursday the 16th, and performances will begin within the first week of April. That's all for now. I'm Chris Alford with your reminders for the week. Now on to Andrew with City State Nation. Thanks, Carissa. In the city, the PBR professional bull riders came to town this weekend. The matchups between man and beast have been entertaining, to say the least. In the state, five members of Governor Eric Greitens cabinet have been confirmed. Congratulations to Chris Chin, Carol Comer, Drew Juden, Anne Precythe, and Sarah Steelman. In the nation, the flu epidemic has been raging for several weeks, forcing some schools to close down in Kentucky, Tennessee, Indiana, and Illinois. But if you listen to Blake, you should be okay. This has been City State Nation. I'm Andrew Bird. Welcome to Jack TV Sports. I'm Donald Kelly. Last Thursday was senior night for the girls' basketball team. You might think walking in the middle of the court during halftime is just for show and doesn't really mean anything to the players. But Bailey Fowler tells you how it means much more than that. I think senior night was definitely a special moment for all of us, and especially like since there was nine of us and we've all like grown up together, so it was just a time for us to like cherish all the memories that we've had. And just going out there and knowing that you're being recognized was a pretty awesome feeling. The girls ended up winning in stunning fashion, 71 to 37. The Lady Jags have a game against Blue Springs Thursday, so make sure you come out and support. The boys basketball team played last Friday against Ray Peck and won, which was a very low scoring game, being the score was 34 to 28. Both teams had struggled to score, but the Jags were able to pull it out at the end. That's all for Jack TV Sports. I'm Donald Kelly, back to you. The girls basketball games versus Blue Springs are always exciting. So make sure you come out and support. After the break, you'll hear about how Senate is getting into the holiday spirit right after this. remember when I started painting the Sistine Chapel, people thought I was crazy. They were like, Mike, you can't spend four years painting a ceiling. And I was like, you can now. Just like this morning when I went to Chick-fil-A for breakfast, people were like, you can't eat chicken for breakfast. And I was like, you can now. Turns out the new egg white grill is delish. So you know who's not crazy? That guy. Chicken for breakfast. It's not as crazy as you'd think. Try the new egg white grill from Chick-fil-A. Welcome to Plowboy's Barbecue. All of our briskets come in 28-day uh, aged, which means that uh, they've started to break down a little bit. It adds to the richness of the flavor, and it also aids in a lot of the tenderness of the final product. Our drive through is always convenient, but on your next visit to Plowboy's, come on inside, check out the atmosphere, check out some of the pictures and history, and family memories that we have over 17 years. Welcome back. You may not know as much as you think you do about Valentine's Day. Well, don't worry because here's Zach to tell us more about the holiday. Tuesday, February 14th is Valentine's Day. 
Nobody actually knows the origins of Valentine's Day, but it's believed to start around February 14th in the year 270 CE. Valentine's Day is celebrated in the Americas and in Europe, but is also celebrated in several countries in Asia. Early versions of Valentine's cards fashioned satin and lace and ornamented with flowers, ribbons, and images of cupids or birds appeared in England in the 1880s. Many people give greeting cards, chocolates, jewelry, or flowers, particularly roses, to their partners or admirers on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day in Finland refers to Friends Day, which is more about remembering old friends rather than focusing solely on romance. And that's just a little bit of the history behind Valentine's Day. The Sacred Heart with Jack TV, back to you. Seems like there's a lot more behind the holiday than we thought. So continue to spread the love. Senate is also continuing to spread the love by providing kids in the Blue Springs area with supplies they need. Last Wednesday, Senate's new program to help teens in need who need a little more love. The Love Bag program is a program created by the First Hand Foundation to give kids going through financial hard times or are about to enter foster care and it has been going on for at South this year. So this is the first year that we started South at South. It's asking every fifth hour to participate and complete at least one love bag. What you need to bring. Toothpaste, toothbrush, deodorant, boxers or underwear, t-shirts, pants, and body wash, or anything that's on your list. Love bag is a great cause. Make sure you bring your stuff in. It ends tomorrow. I'm Kirsten Gochi. Back to you. You could be helping someone close to you without even realizing. That's amazing. And now it's time to uncover this special holiday treat that Carly's whipping up in her corner. Hey Jags, welcome to Carly's Cooking Corner. It's Valentine's Day and anyone would love to receive these homemade Oreo truffles. The ingredients you will need are one 8 ounce package of cream cheese, one 20 ounce package of almond bark, 24 Oreos, food coloring, and sprinkles. First, put the Oreos in a Ziploc bag and crush them until there are no large pieces left. Then, put the crumbs into a large bowl and combine them with cream cheese. Next, line a container with parchment paper. After that, form one and a half inch balls using a scoop or your hands. Then, put them into the fridge to chill. After 45 minutes, melt the almond bark by microwaving it in 30 second increments. Next, dip the truffles into the chocolate and set them onto more parchment paper. Use the food coloring to make any extra chocolate pink and drizzle it onto the chocolate. Top with colored sugar sprinkles and you're done. Enjoy! Hmm, something so simple yet so tasty. Hope you enjoyed Carly's special treat and maybe you could also enjoy it with your special someone for the holiday. Well that's all for this episode of JAG TV. I'm Jada Page. And I'm Derek Mammon. Have a wonderful week. Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. Sign up today.